In today's video, I am going to explain what are Laplace equations. So this topic is from functions of a complex variable. See here, what are Laplace equations? u x x plus u y y is equal to 0, which means dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square is equal to 0. And coming to this, dou square v by dou x square plus dou square v by dou y square is equal to 0. Then we say that these two are Laplace equations. See here, we have to prove that u and v satisfies Laplace equations but not it's not a regular function so f of z is equal to u plus iv it is not a regular function and let's get started and what is given here u is given as x square minus y square so if i differentiate with respect to x this is 2x so if i again differentiate with respect to x this is 2 so if i differentiate with respect to y so this is minus 2y if I differentiate again with respect to y, so y it is 1, this is minus 2. Therefore, we got uxx plus uyy is equal to 2 minus 2 which is equal to 0. Therefore, we say that dou square u by this is dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square is equal to 0. So, this is u. So, this is equation number A. And next coming to V. So, what is V here? So, V is nothing but, V is nothing but minus Y by, this is X square plus Y square. So, if I make a derivative with respect to X. See here, minus Y, this is a constant. For 1 by X, this is minus 1 by, this is X square. And again for X, so this will be 2X. So, Vx value is equal to minus into minus plus. This is 2xy by this is x square plus y square whole square. And next if we make a double derivative with respect to with respect to x again. So Vxx is equal to this is uv rule. See here this is v square. Square into square. So this is power 4. So, this is x square plus y square whole square and with respect to x, x it is 1. So, this will be 2y minus if I leave this u and if I make a derivative. So, this will be 2 times of x square plus y square and again with respect to x. So, this will be 2x. See here. So, if I take x, x square plus y square common from this. So, this is x square plus y square. If I take one common, so this will be x square plus y square into 2y minus 2 twos are 4 and 4 twos are 8. This is 8 x square y by divided by this is x square plus y square power 4. So, now I can cancel for one time. So, if I cancel for one time, 3 remains. So, the next thing what I am going to do is just I am going to multiply this one. So, if I multiply this one, then V double X, X, X is equal to, if I multiply, this will be 2 X square Y plus this is 2 Y cube minus 8 X square Y by, this is X square plus Y square cube. And see here, V double X is equal to, see here, this is 2 Y cube minus 2 plus 2 minus 8. So, this is minus 6 x square y by this is x square plus y square. This is whole cube. So, this is equation number 3. See here. So, if you feel that this is 3. And see now what is vx. So, vx is nothing but x here. So, vx is nothing but so, what is V here? We have to make a double derivative with respect to Y. So, V is given as minus Y by. So, this is X square plus Y square. So, now I have to make a derivative with respect to Y. So, there is Y in the numerator as well as in the denominator. So, UV rule. So, this is X square plus Y square whole square and this is X square plus Y square. With respect to Y, this is minus 1. So, minus of minus 1 and here with respect to Y, this is 2Y. And see here, VY will be, if I multiply with minus, this is minus X square minus Y square. This is minus of minus, this is 
2y square by this is x square plus y square whole square. So, v y value is equal to so plus 2 minus 1. So, this is y square minus x square by this is x square plus y square whole square. So, this is v y. So, if you observe this one. So, this value is v with respect to y and again so we have to make a derivative. So, we have to make a derivative with respect to y again. So, v y y is equal to. So, v y y is equal to it is nothing but x square plus y square. Already there is square, whole square. So, this is power 4. So, this is x square plus y square whole square. And with respect to y, this is 2y minus y square minus x square. So, this will be 2 times of x square plus y square into 2y. And see here, v y y is equal to, if I, if you multiply this one. So, if I take x square plus y square common for one time. So, this will be x square plus y square into 2y. And here, if I bring this for one time, so this will be 2y into this is y square minus x square by this is x square plus y square power 4. So, now if I cancel this for one time, so if I cancel this for one time, this will be cube. So, v y y value will be so v double derivative. If I multiply this one, so this is 2x square y plus 2y cube and this is minus 2y cube plus 2x square y by so this is x square plus y square whole cube so this is x square plus y square whole cube so here if you see here so this is 2 and this is 2y so it will be 4y so so the value here is 4y so if i multiply this will be 4y cube and again this value is 4x square y so this is 4x square y so here v y y value is equal to so 2 plus uh, 4 this is 6 this is a 6 y x square and this is minus 2 y cube by this value is x square plus y square whole cube now this is our equation number 5 so this is the double derivative with respect to y so this is our fifth equation so let's get started see you, what is vx? xx. So, vxx value is nothing but. So, if I add up these two. So, vxx plus vyy I need. So, this value will be what is vxx. So, this is nothing but. Dou square v by dou x square is nothing but. This is 2y cube minus 6x square x square y by x square plus y square whole cube. Plus, what is vyy? So, vyy is nothing but. See. So, this value is nothing but 6yx square minus 2y cube by this is x square plus y square whole cube. So, this is the double derivative. So, if I add these two, see here. So, if I make a derivative, that is x square plus y square whole cube. So, in the numerator, it will be 2y cube minus 6x square y plus 6x square y minus 2y cube. It's very clear that so we can cancel 2y cube, 2y cube and this one. So I got the answer as 0. So this value I got as 0. Therefore, therefore vxx plus vyy is equal to 0. So which is nothing but dou square v by dou x square plus dou square v by dou y square is equal to 0. This is equation number b. From equation 1, so we have the double derivatives of u, that is u x x. So, here this is equation number a, that is dou square u by dou x square plus dou square v by dou y square is equal to 0. And whereas here, from equation 1 and 2, see, from equations, from 1 and 2 equations or a and b equations, we have dou square u by dou x square plus this is dou square u by dou y square is equal to 0 and dou square v by dou x square plus dou square v by dou y square is equal to 0. So, therefore, the function f of z, therefore, f of z satisfies Laplace equations.
Laplace equations. So we have to show that it is not a regular function. So how can we say that it's not a regular function? So ux should be equal to vy and uy should be equal to minus vx. It should satisfy CR equations. What is ux? So ux is nothing but 2x. So ux is equal to this is 2x. And now what is vy? So vy is equal to let me show you. So, Vy is equal to, this is y square minus x square by, so this is y square, y square minus x square by, this value is x square, x square plus y square whole square. Therefore, ux not equal to Vy and it doesn't satisfy CR equations. CR equations are not satisfied. CR equations are not satisfied. Are not satisfied. Therefore, the function f of z is not regular. Therefore, f of z is not a regular function. f of z is not a regular function. See here. So, clear. It's very clear that it was given u is equal to x square minus y square and v is equal to minus 5 by x square plus y square. So, it is the first derivative, double derivative. First derivative, double derivative. If I add these two, that is 2 minus 2. So, this value is very clear, 0. So, next one, this is v. So, with respect to x is this value. And this vx and again we got vy. So, this value is nothing but vy. And again, if may, if I make a derivative with double derivative, so this is equation number 5. So, if I add dou square v by dou, dou square v by dou x square plus dou square v by dou y square, we got the value as 0. Therefore, from equation a and b, so uh, Laplace equations are satisfied. But CR equations are not satisfied. Therefore, f of z is not a regular function. So, it is what it is asked in the question. So, here we have to prove that it satisfies the Laplace equations but not a regular function. When we say that it is not a regular function, if, the, if it doesn't obey CR equations. This is how we have to solve. Please have a look at my next video too. So, it will be immensely help you for your preparation. Thank you so much.